said when I came home Friday afternoon about 8.30, right before dark, he was standing in the yard with a gun. What kind of gun was it? I didn't pay that much attention. I came from this way and just came over the hill. I barely saw him. Oh. And about 15 minutes after I was home, gunfire broke loose. And about five minutes later, they had the place around it. So, oh, so they were here. They were on the way, obviously, because they were here in just a few moments. What kind of uh, gunfire did it sound like? It sounded like a high-caliber high pistol. Yeah. Did you hear uh, how many shots? It was five or six. It sounded like he ended it. He was very loner. Mm -hmm. yeah. I saw him down several times in their backyard mm -hmm. uh, shooting a little, uh, pistol, BB gun. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and he was... Was it like a long rifle gun or like a... Uh, no, it's more, more or less a pistol. Okay. But he was very active with it. He was, how how uh, do you mean? He'd go here, he'd move from right different. Like, you know, he was, he'd go here and jump here, go here and there. And like it, he was going through some sort of a training exercise? Right, exactly right. Exactly. A 19 year old doing that, this seemed a little bit out of ordinary to me. Justin was very, I uh, kind of saw him kind of as a socially awkward mm. individual. And uh -huh. The only times I ever really saw him was when he was you know, walking his dog. Um, spoke to him a few times, you know, if I saw him in the yard, if I was out working in the yard or anything. But